Gemini, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. Right, Gemini, I've been meditating on it. And your words that came up are avoiding disaster. I sort of saw it as a move from the hips. Oh, it's scooting past you. The disaster. Whoa, just, just got out of the way in the time, in time. That's kind of how I saw it. All right, what is Gemini avoiding a disaster? Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all you. If it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. All right. I'm not doing private readings at this time. Gemini avoiding a disaster. It's about rushing things. Yeah, <laughs> as I'm saying it, I put the last card out, which is eight of wands in reverse, of course, but that's things moving very quickly. The overall vibe, we've got the Ace of Cups. Aces are new beginnings, Cups are about emotions and love. So that's the overall vibe. The cause of it is the Two of Wands here. It sort of feels like after a difficult time, difficult relationships, it's like you've kind of been through the walls. After all of that this difficult time, you're sort of coming to the end of that with the two of ones and, and it's it's sort of like after the battle seeing like okay the sun's the sun's on the horizon, it's gonna be alright. I'm 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 gonna make it through these two pillars here, I'm gonna finally be on the other side and, and I, I'm gonna you know, be happy again. I'm, I'm gonna find love. You know, this is where this is what you need to know right now. This is the nine of wands here. This is what's going on now. This is you after you've been hurt. You know, traditionally this is a, a man holding a, a wand and he's got a band bandage like around his head and he's you can see he's been hurt by one of these wands and he's looking around to see which one's coming next. But that's also about you setting your boundaries. And you wouldn't be able to set your boundaries if you'd never been through the things that you've been through, but you have. So now you can set your boundaries. Now you can say, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go there. I'm not gonna let somebody do that to me or anything to me that, that isn't going to be pleasant. Why is the nine of wands here? You, yeah. So you made the mistake in the past of wearing your heart on your sleeve and, and falling in love quickly, very quickly. And you've made that mistake, done it. You're not going to do that again. That's one of your boundaries for yourself. Like, no, 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 slow down, slow down. It's like you know now that as a relationship develops, just just let it develop. Don't rush things, don't push things. Just you know, see which way the wind's blowing and allow it to allow it to blow you in whatever direction it is. Shut up! No, 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 no! Don't be going down that smutty road. I wasn't talking about blowing. You know. Shh, shh, Anything else Gemini needs to know? No, I've got a filthy mouth. Filthy! I 
just I, I'm, I'm seeing it's, it's, it's the end of this like you know I mean for a change I'm kind of seeing this like if you look at her wrist she's bound with chains I see this as patterns in your life the patterns of the the swords around or the chains it, it, it's just a, a never-ending pattern that you know you've had to put your foot down and, and say no it is ending I'm not going to relive this pattern I'm not going to have another crap relationship I'm not going to get hurt again I'm not going to go through this again I'm I'm going to learn from this I sort of feel like everything that you have been through has taught you well or has it so what's coming in is this. Two of Cups. That's a really beautiful connection. Talking to somebody. Getting to know them. There's a lot of attraction there. When you talk, it's like, oh, I feel like I've known this person forever. Clicks. Tell me more. Are you projecting? This is what you've learnt. This is what you've learnt now. Now you've got your boundaries in place. You can sort of take a step back and go, hold on a minute. You know, you're pretty good at that falling in love very easily kind of thing. All right, let's take a step back. Let's take a look at this. Are, uh, am I projecting onto them stuff that they don't have, the good stuff that they don't really have? Are they really that amazing person or do I just want them to be that person? You're realizing that they're not. This is what you, you start to realize that it's, it's the nine of cups in reverse. This is not your wish fulfillment. This is not your person. It's a test from the universe. Judgment. It's, it's judgment. It's, it's the universe coming in and going, Are you ready? Are you gonna are you gonna be patient with it? We've got temperance here. Are you gonna be patient with this? Are you gonna Are you gonna take your time? Are you going to set your boundaries and mean them? Are you? Yeah, you know what? I see that you are. I see that you're hopeful for love. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? Siri, go away, please. Okay. I know, I know I don't need to be nice to Siri, but honestly, he keeps coming up every now and then. I'm like, I'm just, I don't know why I'm whispering. It's not real. <laughs> Sorry. I've lost my flow. It's like it. You get it. You see it. You see that this is a really nice connection with somebody, but there's something not right. You might be projecting something like your gut instincts, like saying, no, no, Gemini, this is not the one. You pay attention to it this time. Little red flag waves. You're like, no, I can see a little red flag there. I'm, you, you're paying attention to it, but you're hopeful that this might not be the one, but there is somebody. I feel like this is the disaster you're avoiding. It's a little test from the universe. Are you going to pay attention or are you going to repeat a pattern? Because if you're going to repeat a pattern, that's the disaster. I think the best that you can hope for is that whoever is coming in, and you don't like them. Oh God, I don't like them. Yeah, no, this is not a great person. They are very possessive 
they're very domineering um could could be a libra or a taurus or a leo getting aries leo maybe sag whoever they are they're coming in they're very possessive it's not a good thing it's stifling this person's going to come in and and love bomb you and uh try and rush things with you try to rush uh let's be in a relationship sleeping with you moving in together this is somebody you know they're going to send you lots of presents i've got lots of presents for you um You know, it's, it's too much, this person coming in, but they're very possessive. They don't like you talking to other people, even if it's friends, like genuine friends. And there's, you know, it's it's your best friend that you've known since you were 10. They they don't like it. They don't like you talking to you, your family. This is a very, very possessive person. They want all of your time and your space, all of it. And I think once they got it, they would like be... Bye. You know what to do. I don't need to go on with this reading. You know what to do. Um, don't be fixated on the sign of the person, but I, I, I feel like they're coming in the very near future. Pay attention to the red flags. If you do, you're going to be avoiding a disaster. I feel like it possibly could have already started, but you have been through things in the past. You you ha have absolutely learned from it. And if you haven't, you really kind of need to. It's time to break the patterns. It's time to break the chains of the past. I'm going to take this into extended after I've read the outcome here, where I'm going to ask, when is this person coming in? Do you already know them? And uh, some guidance from the universe. And let's have a look. Why is the eight of wands in reverse here for the outcome? Uh, you know what, for them I'm getting, I, I, at first I was like, oh, I'm not going to bother, but you know, I am going to bother. This person is a complete and utter illusion. They're a narcissist, I think. They're coming in and they are being exactly what you want them to be. They're going to fit into that. And then little by little, they're going to destroy you. So, so no, this is not the person for you. The outcome, you're rushing things. With this person, you are rushing things. And um, you need to see that straight away. And you also need to see that you have options. This is not the only person who's coming along in your life. You have options. So... Don't rush it. I would say hold way back from this person. Adjustments are required. You might need a few days, like while you're dating somebody like this, you might need a few days to get your head around, like, what do I really feel? Am I, I'm seeing red flags? Yep, that's a red flag. Definitely a red flag. Okay, let's pay attention to that. You might need, you know, just a little time to think. And if this person doesn't give you time to think, then they're not your person. Good enough. It's a song by me. If you look in my playlist, this is uh, one of the playlists is called My Music. This is a song called Good Enough by me. You have me now and all my baggage. I've been made to feel less unworthy. I want to turn that around and believe in love. But I don't feel good enough. You've been made to feel like that in the past. Like you're not. But you are good enough. And you don't need to ever put up with someone else's crap a good person exists in this world 
out of the seven billion people on planet Earth, there's a person here that's for you, who's good and right, and everything that you need to be happy in a relationship. Don't settle for less, okay? If you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Bye!